had seven months to talk it back and forth with the bills. Okay. But the premium relief, uh, you know, my recollection is we agreed uh, two weeks ago to the basic uh, plan that I set forth in October, which was the 25% rebate, and, and that you were going to, and we agreed to take the money out of the uh, health care access fund, as you wanted, and then we agreed that if there was something that was really related to continuity of care, which we both uh, are strongly supportive of, that we would add that to the bill. And so it was really a surprise this afternoon to get, get a whole range of other items that were added to the bill at the last minute. Governor, yeah. those things were not a surprise. Our folks have been talking to your folks about that. I've sat in meetings myself where we've talked about those things. Uh, Maybe the first time you saw the actual language, but those well, things we, have been on the we, table we, since we, day one. Well, we and, agreed. And we agreed two weeks ago, and everyone has the same understanding. I can read the Zelka's tape. That, we, that was our agreement. That it was going to be the basic bill plus uh, continuity of care, if you could vet that with the uh, health plans, and there was nothing else going to be added. We also you, agreed you, to do the tax bill and the bonding bill. You stood right here in this room and told yeah. everybody that we were going to do that. And we're now people in Greater it. Minnesota are going to be left well, behind because you, I, 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 because I, I, union groups don't want you to do that. I, I think that's, has that's to do with union horrible. Groups. It has to do with the fact that I said on Tuesday that we, if I didn't get a response by 5 o'clock yesterday uh, on those two bills, and I didn't. You, you know, you've been out of town. And you didn't uh, bother to return my call, which I left for you a voicemail on Yesterday Tuesday. morning. I was on a plane Tuesday. coming back to Tuesday. see you. I left, I left you a call on Tuesday morning. No, you didn't. But and and uh, left you a voicemail. So, you know, now we're on to the premium relief. Do, uh, the question is, and the other three caucuses, I think, are willing to do it uh, along the lines of what we agreed to two weeks ago. Are you, are you agreeable to that bill? You know, if there's something else that you have to have added, tell us what it is. But those, you know, those things that we just, sent you yesterday well, are say what we would like added. The lobby for for-profit entities, both foreign and domestic, to sell health insurance in Minnesota hasn't been vetted by anybody. You don't know what the consequences are uh, for the existing health plans. There are no hearings, no discussion. You want to just put it in a bill? And it's just not good, good policy. I, I'm, I'm concerned about folks, Governor, and I said this this morning. Uh, I'm concerned about folks. Uh, who and 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 by the way, you know, I, I didn't come here to blame. I came here to solve problems. But but, but I, I I do feel very strongly that you need to take some responsibility and accountability for what Minnesotans are going through. Uh, as I look back, you have known about this problem since May first, uh, but we didn't know about it until September thirtieth. Until it was far too late. The plans told me on September thirtieth that it was too late to do anything to impact care on January 1st. I'm not willing to accept that. They also told us they couldn't implement your plan, but now they're saying they can. So what I need you to do, Governor, is put forward a plan uh, that actually will help people on January 1st. Your plan does not help anyone until it looks like April 1st, and maybe not until May 1st, That's not true. De depending on, it is true. Yeah. At the very soonest, it could be April 1st. The plans are telling us that. If we passed this, this measure, if we passed it a couple weeks ago as we should have, it would take effect in January. Now it may not take effect until February, but they'll get uh, uh, the Eight to 12 weeks is for, what the plans are saying to implement it. Eight to 12 weeks. And it, and it can only take effect if they have it implemented by the 15th of the month. It can only, it has to be by the 15th of the previous month. So to why be, didn't you agree to it you know, two weeks ago? You know, you, all you want to because do, I've been all you want to do is complain weeks. about what I propose. All you want to do is just, you know, rather than take any leadership yourself and propose something different, come back with this yesterday. It's just ridiculous. There are people, Governor, because of the plan that you have negotiated, that will not that that are are undergoing life-saving cancer treatments at Mayo Clinic today, that are going to be arbitrarily cut off on January first. You tell me what your plan does to help those people keep that care well, the, and what you can do to help that's them. That's why I agreed with you. And if you it. can't, then you look at these cameras and you tell people that because of what you negotiated, they're going to be cut off on January 1st and there's nothing you can do to help them because I'm not willing to tell them that. Well, the, plans, the plans themselves set the parameters. Otherwise, they would have all pulled out. We wouldn't have had an individual market at all uh, if it, we hadn't agreed to their, their terms and to their rates. And I, I agree with you, the, the loss of continuity of care is, is, is awful. 
And I've heard, as you have, from people all over the state who are affected by that. And they, again, I said several weeks ago, if we, I'd welcome adding a continuity of care clause to this bill. If you bet it with the health plans so that they have an input into it, because they'd have to carry it out. And you know, yesterday afternoon, uh, Myron talked with uh, Jim Scholler, they hadn't heard from you. So you got a, a great idea, but it's something that you haven't uh, taken the time to put, to put it into law to put it into effect. Uh. You know, all I've heard is it can't be meant implemented. It can't be implemented. Governor, we need you to be more creative. We need you to be more aggressive. And we need your folks to figure out how to help people on January 1st. Your plan does not help a well, single right. soul on January 1st. Well, in right. fact, there's no. if we're only doing your plan next week, there's no need for a special session because it will not help a soul until April 1st. We can do that the first week in, in regular session. We can have open, transparent hearings, and we can pa pass something out that actually will help people, hopefully by the second week in January. Uh, if, you know, but well, then come up with a proposal to do It's so. right here. I sent oh, it to right you here. yesterday. A private a private uh, entities, foreign, domestic, to sell health insurance in Minnesota. That has nothing to do with helping people on January it, 1st. Uh, requiring MMB to limit access to subsidy based on income for the second half of 17, which the plans say they can't do. So have you talked to the plans? Well, the plans also no, have you talked to, have your, your have you talk to the plans about you? that? Yes, we have. Okay. And they can't do it. Well, they couldn't That's, do your plan either until you put leverage on. Well, we put leverage. So I need on. you to put We've leverage. We've been negotiating on with them for a month now to get to this point, you and you haven't had any negotiations with anybody. You just tossed these ideas. Up. That's not true. Well, it is. I true. personally myself have sat in meetings that were supposed to be staff level meetings and talked about these exact things with people sitting at this table, Governor. Well, don't accuse me that right. I haven't been engaged or involved. Okay, and you tell me. You've been in the Virgin Islands when we should have been negotiating this week to get these bills done. I'm right here. Yeah, right well, now. you're back now. Because you threw a yeah. tantrum about it. I didn't do a tantrum. I just said you were here. I oh. just said I left you a message on Tuesday saying that Thursday at 5 was the you deadline. You didn't leave me a message on Tuesday. Yeah, I did. Okay, and you didn't well. return my call. See, that's why Governor, I'm glad we're here. The cameras so are here. Yep. Tell them what you're going to do to make sure that people who are receiving life saving can cancer treatments at Mayo Clinic can keep that on January 1st it's and 2nd. A, a major failing of the Affordable Care. I, I've admitted it. You want an election on it? We Keep think there are things it. that can be done. And well, that's then, what we're then asking do you then to do. Then do it. Then, then in the first week of January, then, do it. That's what we'll do. Then do it, okay? Get that's it set we'll up. Do. Take responsibility for it and do it. If you do, I'll, I'll tip my hat to you. But uh, for now, this is the best thing we have. So if you don't want to proceed with this, then we don't have any basis to proceed. We're <laughs> We're going to actually help people. Your plan doesn't oh, help anybody on January yeah, 1st. Well, it helps people. It would have helped people on January 1st if we passed the thing about a month ago. And now it will help people starting in February, I'm told, and retroactive to January 1st. So if you want to push it back another three weeks, it'll be March uh, before it takes effect. And people, have, meanwhile, are making their decisions on whether or not they can afford these premiums. And we're talking about 25% reduction in premiums. And, uh, and uh, you know, they don't know whether they're going to be coming to them or not. So the longer you wait, the more uncertainty there is for people who have to make decisions now about what assurance they can afford and whether they can afford assurance at all. They can't afford it. They can't even afford it with a 25% discount. Well, they can afford it uh, more, more readily with 25% discount than they can uh, without it. Can you give me an update on the enrollments? 52,000 today. How far is that below expectations? I don't know what the expectations were. You know, Lauren? This is, um, I think this meets the expectations for this time in open enrollment, but we can confirm that. So that was, the, these are the people that today had to be signed up, or by today, to have coverage January 1st. Okay. 52,000 is what you were expecting? I said you can't, through, I can't, I can't through Minsure. That. There's 52,000 that are coming outside through of Minsure. Minsure. There, may be more. there are more outside of Minsure. We uh, don't have specific about. numbers. Okay. So, and I think well, that's going to get up in the regular issues. session then and come up with something better and more yeah. power to you. You should have done it a month ago, but you haven't, so well, now Governor, we're still made it. And Governor. you come in yesterday afternoon with all these, these provisions. When we had an agreement, the four leaders and I, and you were part of it, we had did. an agreement two weeks ago that it was going to be the basic plan that I proposed plus continuity of care if you could work that out with the plans. You haven't worked it out with the plans. You tossed it in here along with a bunch of other things. And, and now you want to go back on that agreement two weeks ago, which is the same agreement that Senator Gazelka understood. You, you went back on the agreement Senator on Tuesday. Bach. Governor, where did all stuff come in your, in your bonding proposal? Where did I'm not talking about bonding anymore. Bonding and taxes well, You don't want to talk the, about it because you went outside of our agreement from two weeks ago. 
Well, we could debate that. You were literally, the point is, you were literally the, trying to scuttle that, the agreement. No, that's done. That's done. Yeah, now we're talking done. about trying to provide... Now, now, we're, now we want to blame you, Kurt. It's not my fault, Governor. It's not my fault. I don't th think it matters to people in Minnesota who's full. You're right. It I doesn't. think it matters to people in Minnesota where they're going to do something now and then next Tuesday in a special session to provide this help to people as soon as possible. If you've got a better idea that could take effect January 1st, then lay it on the table. Because I have. We all, I did yesterday. No, that doesn't do it. That doesn't do it. And you don't have the health plans or anybody who's got to carry it out who's even been discussed Folks, it with you. that's the problem. Everything we throw out, nope, 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 nope. Nope, we can't help people on January 1st. I'm sorry, Governor, that you feel you can't help people, but we, we, we need to do everything we can to help everybody we can. Well, give, give me a, this is a, give a us, real crisis. Give us a pro. Yeah, it is. And, you, and you've been saying that, and I've been saying that for weeks now, but we haven't acted on it. So give a proposal that will take effect January 1st. I did. It's right here. I have it. How does that take effect? Are you saying no to, are you saying no to passing? Because this is continuity of care. With, with whose who's, who's concurrence? The health plans aren't, haven't agreed to this. I mean, you can, the yeah, health yeah, plans yeah. didn't agree to go over their caps, but you tell me they're doing it. Well, then talk to the health plans. And, and see you know what? I backed off. When you said that to me, I trusted you. Even though there was nothing in writing, I said, you know what? If, if you're comfortable with that and you've worked out some deal with them, that's fine. Well, I'm not here to defend the health plans, but they but, have to carry but you it out. Also in that same and if meeting, you're going to change the terms uh, that they've bid on, they're going to have the the ability to come back and, and do it differently. If you think that's the solution, and again, I said before, and we said two weeks ago, if you add continuity of care, if that's workable, then I'm all in favor of that. Here it is. So that, I gave it to you yesterday. So that's, yeah, so that's, that's what we've been proposing. So continuity of care plus, so what, how does that take effect January 1st? Governor, this is why you and I decided two weeks ago in this room that we were going to have experts come in. I didn't bring those people with me. I guess I could confer with my staff over here. But we gave you all the language yesterday. That's continuity of care. It'll make sure that people who are, are getting cancer treatments, and not just the Mayo Clinic, it'll also make sure that they don't have to drive 60 or 80 miles to get to a doctor past two or three clinics. They're good ideas. Yeah. They're good ideas, but they haven't been vetted in the real world of people who have got to carry them out. So. Governor, this is where I appreciate what you're saying. and, and I, I know that you're a good person and I, and I know that you're doing everything you can, but I want to tell you it really angers me because I feel that you did not, you, you kept this problem under wraps until October 1st when you should have told us about it May 1st. Yeah, you we could have done you something. You campaigned this. Now we're trying to solve a problem for the people of Minnesota. If I'll take my share of responsibility for the problem that exists. I want to solve the problem now for people. And you know, but you we, tell me that you can't help people on January first. You tell them. Don't even tell me. I'm not tell them you can't help I'm, them on January first. I'm telling you that we've got it in place to help them on January fifteenth. We did if we passed the bill on time. It doesn't. Basis. You're not providing any help to anybody on January first. It does. This is continuity well, of care. People that people that are getting talk cancer health, treatments talk, at talk Mayo to, Clinic will be able to stay to the there if we pass the legislation we gave you have yesterday. To cover Okay. Cover these people, and uh, if you don't think take, there's a problem, take, it's going to be then, very difficult then take for us responsibility to solve it. the first week in January. Come forward with a bill that you've actually talked about with people who got to carry it out, and and if you can provide relief the, starting the second week of January, then I will tip my hat to you. But for now, you know, you we had an agreement two we weeks did have ago. An agreement Everybody broke agreed. It on Tuesday. Everybody <laughs> agreed to it, and you know, you've, you've broken that agreement. And you broke the agreement. Yeah. Well, you did it on Tuesday. You did. And I know it's because you've got union groups, AFL, CIO. Oh, I hear on. about it all oh, over that they oh, don't want on. you to do the tax bill. Oh, come on. The, they don't want you to do the, the business bill. community is lobbying you not to do the tax bill. I have texts I don't from care the business what, community I don't telling care the, me, I, don't, I know there's rumors out there that the we don't want it. We do or I don't care what the union. We're not talking about those two bills. We're talking about the bill that's going to provide people relief as soon as possible. And yours is just Yours does not and, provide and relief as soon as possible. It hasn't been vetted with anybody. So, all right. We can't have a special session next Tuesday because we can't have an agreement, even though the other three caucus leaders are agreeable to what we agreed to two weeks ago. If you feel strongly and about this, Governor, you call a session. You can do it. Call it for next Wednesday, and we'll session. send you a bill. I'm not going to call a session without a prior agreement. I never have before. I'm not going to open the door to every possible amendment and the like. It'll be a mayhem. So you know, you'll be able to do that starting on uh, January 3rd, which is evidently the way you want to proceed. So. No, I actually we'll want, to, I want to do real no, you, relief that will no, help don't. people January 1st. No, you don't. You now. talk about being angered. Okay. You you just set this up, made an offer I have to refuse so that you can avoid the blame for not uh, doing the premium relief. Okay, well, whatever. <clears throat>